Hey, Steve here with RV to Cycle. Want to work from the road? Or even better, want to work from the road while somebody's driving you from point A to point B, like me. If that interests you, you'll want to watch this next video to see how we do it in our RV. Stay tuned. <laughs> When I started working from the road, this is what I used, a hotspot from AT&T, and soon realized this wasn't going to cut it. There were just too many dead spots. So enter option two, combination of an AT&T hotspot and a Verizon jetpack. You know, it worked somewhat, but not well enough because when this guy quit working, and I had to hook up to this one, the time it took to move from here to here on my computer was unacceptable. I dropped calls, I missed too much of a conversation if it wasn't just a call, and if it was a Teams meeting or a Zoom meeting, if you will, forget it, it was gone. So enter solution number two, and it has worked. We just returned from a 4,294 mile test trip where we used our new Max Transit Duo router from Peplink. It worked flawlessly. We used the SIM cards out of the two hotspots, plugged them into our new router, and seamlessly it would transfer from AT&T to Verizon and from Verizon back to AT&T on an as-needed basis. When the signal from one dropped, the other one picked up. AT&T keys their SIM cards to their hotspots. We had to go to the AT&T store and have the IMEI changed from our hotspot to the IMEI of the Pipwave Max Transit Duo. What's the IMEI? Well, it's, it's the address, essentially, of your device. We had only one spot in the entire journey where we had any issues of losing signal. And that was out in the wilds of West Texas, where you can see for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. And some cellular engineer said, well, I can see the tower over yonder, so that's probably good enough. Well, guess what? It's not. Line of sight is great, but line of sight isn't always enough to get the signal from one place to another, even when you have a booster or an amplifier still just wasn't quite enough. But other than that one spot, and we hit it going and coming, everything else worked fine. So if this made any sense for you at all, give it a thumbs up. If it didn't, and you got something out of it, give it a thumbs up. Remember, a thumbs up is a like, and the more likes a video has, the higher it goes in YouTube search engine, and the easier it is for other people to find it. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye.